Are you tired of listening to German language all day long? Don't you just want to get your news and topics presented in English, even though you live in Germany? Then here's your solution. Yeah! <laughs> Elephant in the Room, an English radio show where we discuss things that people tend to ignore. Tune in on Color Radio on 99.3 and 98.4. Every second and fourth Monday of the month. Elephant in the Room, a radio show by the Black Rose Radio Collective from Dresden. Hate Mondays, be organized, stay cool. Last summer, we went to visit a couple of friends in northern Italy, in the city of Reggio Emilia. They told us a little bit about the situation that is going on in the city after the first wave of coronavirus and the political development in the region, as well as the anarchist perspectives and possible alternatives to the crisis. Stay tuned. They, they are not from England, they understand that. Yeah. It is almost 12 o'clock in Italy, it is mm -hmm. almost 30 degree outside. Inside as well. Inside as well, super hot. And we so got together... 60. What? Like there is a circle and it turns into 60. <laughs> um, we are sitting in the kitchen after months of um, coronavirus measures and some fucked up stories um so today we want to talk i mean everybody heard about italy in general in the news what was happening here in with um what the police was doing what the government was doing to fight coronavirus and for me what would be interesting is what were the self-organized measures of the people what was required from the people to do during the coronavirus and What were the anarchists doing during the coronavirus? Okay. If you don't have any answer, you can say no comment and we move on. <laughs> no, a lot of things. Can I start? You want to start? Yeah. 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 Okay. Then you have to think about that during the coronavirus lockdown, Uh, almost 50% uh, of workers were obliged to go to work, more or less. Then there was uh, for the other possibility to stay at home or to work at home in different way. But uh, what happened, and as anarchists we support, uh, supported them, or we even were part of it, the struggle for not working, for not going to work, even because until now the strike is illegal in Italy. So you have to work, but you can't strike because with COVID it is dangerous for you to strike, but you can go and work. This is something that sounds strange to me. For the first moment, the first strike they asked to stop was uh, the strike of the 5th of March in the schools. Uh, and the day after the schools closed, uh, started, uh, they, they closed the school the day after. And also the strike uh, of the 8th of March for the Women's International Day of Struggle. And, in, and the only reason was that in that uh, hard context, uh, emergency and blah, 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 we asked to the uh, unions to suspend any form of uh, strike, of uh, struggle, struggle uh, because... Uh, We, 
have to uh, be all together and struggle against virus and virus yes. and not against uh, uh, your owners. Yes. <laughs> More or less. Yes, this is mainly the, the thing. But anyway, some uh, in some working place uh, workers strike went on strike anyway. Also because uh, in a legal way because uh, you can uh, suspend uh, your uh, activity at the working place if you, there is a risk of safety or uh, health an immediate uh, an immediate risk of uh, safety so with this uh, trick uh, was possible to strike in certain context where the were there was more uh, awareness or more organization of the work and stop the, uh, the production and stop the production so after that they start really to close some factory some production some economical activity before only few kind of production stop mm-hmm. only for market reasons yeah and yeah, you have to think that the Uh, parliament and the government said that uh, only few uh, production can continue but at the end uh, more or less uh, every production can demonstrate that had to be, was necessary for uh, facing covid and so everybody continued working mm. And it was uh, really dangerous, and it was one of the reasons that COVID uh, spread so far and in this huge way in the north of Italy. Mm-hmm. At the same time, sir, uh, what happened in a lot of cities um, were uh, self-organized networks, of course, in order to create uh, solidarity networks for distributing food, sanitary material. And even it uh, was, uh, in some cities, uh, was a matter of uh, fight with the police and government, because if you are not a recognized association you can't go out from your house this is the reason why a lot of comrades are trying to organize themselves as an association in a sort of formal way mm-hmm. at least so that uh, for if there will be an next lockdown they would be at least uh, organized not from the activism point point of view but for the former point of view but in, in a lot of cities it was hard to get it even because church was uh, present local uh, government was present so it was uh, organization linked with the government that is created for an uh, emergency situation. They are sort of army part uh, in uh, Italy. They are linked with uh, the army. And uh, they are the, the target. Uh, and when something happens, they as an earthquake uh, or uh, such a disease, they are the only one can, that can activate themselves uh, and participate uh, and or are you in it or you are you can be part of this yes and we can we have to think that after especially after one month all the people that uh, before the emergency worked without a contract so in an informal way Uh, in precarious way in precarious way where were not for them was not possible to work during the emergency because in Italy for two months 
uh, was forbidden to move from the house only for uh, working reasons, but with some document, not with some paper, not uh, to say, okay, I'm working there and I go <laughs> somewhere. For, for this, for the food and for uh, health reasons. So these were, were the three reasons. And the people that uh, work without contracts were, was not able to, to work anyway. And uh, so after one month, they start to have serious problems with uh, money, with uh, uh, many people was not able to buy food, or pay the rent or uh, some a- any other thing. So these kind of supports w- were very important, and uh, the government and the municipalities provided only some vouchers, some bonus for the and not uh, an income or a. A real uh, economical support to the people. So mm, the social situation was really hard and is still now, but in that moment was really hard. And uh, so this kind of self-organized support was uh, was very useful. In, uh, in It depends, uh, as Simone said, by the city, because in uh, different places... Uh, was there, there there was there were different uh, kind of controls by the police and also the situation uh, the social situation was different but and even covid uh, ah was yes and also more the, or less present the infection uh, was more or less present for example uh, in my city in Livorno uh, was present but not so the infection was not really high like in other parts of the country, so uh, also the controls are were less strict, so it was more possible to maintain an activity. Uh, we made, for example, this activity also without uh, uh, any formal uh, port, any formal uh, authorization by the by the authority, and also, for example, we continue to sp- spread our newspaper uh, we increase uh, some kind of activities like uh, banners or uh, flyers uh, the newspaper and so on posters uh, during this period but in other places it was not possible for the health risk and the, for the police control you have to think about that the, the 40 percent of the shops are uh, now in the last uh, analysis probably will uh, close their uh, activity uh, there will be uh, in September October probably a lot of uh, fires until now the social issue was linking with the uh, Covid, illness, death, and the organization of uh, social health in general. We will see if uh, Covid will return in September, October, but for sure we have to face uh, two problems. One is the social situation that in September, October we will face. And the other is this great amount of money that uh, uh, European Union is uh, giving to Italy that uh, for sure will increase the power of uh, parliament, uh, of parties, will increase clientelism, but uh, for what uh, we are seeing will not bring uh, real transformation in Italy. For example, today they present uh, the law for uh, uh, looking to the future, they are the government, and one example is they are permitting uh, to do anything you need to do if you destroy a building and you want to rebuild it bigger, higher, the important is to 
make economic uh, issue work again and the building issue is one of the main topics in order to reorganize economic uh, economically Italy and the topic is interesting because they are using the ecological issue to do it but it is something like uh, Obama that was using uh, green capitalism in order to reorganize capitalism they are trying to do it without Obama behind them <laughs> so I don't know Oh, probably I know what will happen. We will have uh, a worst uh, Italy in uh, the next future. And they are using still these uh, big uh, operas in order to re-make uh, economical issue go on uh, in, uh, in Italy. New streets, new bridge, an old view that is reciting But pretend we didn't notice And if people die so that you remain in the focus You couldn't care less You want it rolling in You want to hear people saying what you're doing wins All you care about is to come out on top Like this were a competition that could ever be won But you're not playing fucking Sim City right now There are real world effects to what comes out of your mouth And this gives you the perfect excuse To close all the borders and to make sure that you Never ever get questioned for shit that you do Cause you're so focused on helping us to get through As if that's what you're doing when you tell us your plans All that is is a fucking neoliberal dance All you're doing is to make pretty and stab If I didn't hate you yet, then I hate you for that This is the good opportunity to ask questions What kind of world we want to live in? Do we want to live in a very different world? And uh, remember that although we're right now suffering from the pandemic, it's not the main crisis by far. Skeptiker in our culture, massa coasters. So good, so good, so good with Jesus complex. Legitimate the massa, the heute um the global player concept. What's the Erlöser? The Missionierungsklassiker, we're zeitlos. The industry in a whitewash for cycles, for cycles. Unser Gesundheit, ich stelle viele überholen. Es würde jetzt ihren Fick geben, man die Unterschichten in die Krieg gefeuert. Dann wird es zu einer Mauer, die die Reichen trennt. Keiner sieht die blöden Flecken auf dem geborschenen weißen Rennen. Also Bügelchen, das ist Kapitalismus in der Nutshell. Die Krise darf es kosten und wir glauben, es ist im Kartell. Doch bedenken nicht, das gehört vom Stor. Ich dis uns nicht geht, kenn das, wo ich's durchbringe, lass uns endgültig vor Hunde geh Weißt du, komm, man hat mir noch mal schon zu über 300 Kilometer weiter, wenn Menschen behandelt wie geschlachtete Hunde Das Schachbankgefüge, Menschen verschwinden über Nacht in den Züge Der Feind ist unsterblich, versteckt die Sklaven mit Mühle Die Oase erfahrt am Organe in der gottlosen Wüste Falsche Propheten spüren Engel und spannen die Flügel Sie spalten das Meer, die Kluft bei Gräser Doch weißt du, das Meer für uns gespalten, da mal der Heumers für fair Die wollen immer mehr, hast du nicht, für was du's versprichst Ich hasse dich für jede Tod, der Mord in dem Licht and we also have to remember, so many people do not have the luxury of quarantine, um, whether because they do not have homes to quarantine in or because they're being worked off their feet. This is a crisis created by capitalism. By capitalism. In many countries around the world, the situation with the coronavirus is now actually pushed the social conflicts to a more present kind of uh, place in the society. So the questions of poverty, the questions of problems with um, renting places and so on and so forth, which provokes more protests, provokes more some kind of social changes. Does those social problems that exist in Italy as well are getting back to the forefront of the social struggles 
Do people right now protest? Do people go to the streets to actually address the issues that were present and are present after coronavirus? Or currently Italy is united in their in its struggle against the virus and everybody's mm. calm I and nothing is happening? Okay. It is you you have to think about that in Italy nowadays there's a government composed by five stars and Democratic Party. They are not leftists. But uh, leftists trust them, at least for a while. It means that uh, there are not so many street uh, struggles. Who is pushing is the right, and they are using nationalism uh, as the main issue. So that poverty is an issue, but poverty for the Italians. Social health is an issue, but the health for Italians. We are all united as Italians in order to struggling against the COVID, but as Italians. During the COVID and then in the last week, one, a, one man and then one more man died in a center for controlling migration. It's a sort of lager, it's a sort of uh, repression space. Uh, a, a, a hole, hmm? a black hole in uh, Gradisca, but there are many others uh, of this center in Italy. And nowadays, a uh, uh, migration issue is one issue that is coming back uh, as main topics because of what is going on in the south of Mediterranean era and the new migration that are coming. So right wing is using one more time migration as an issue in order to compact. Uh, Uh, Italians uh, against uh, not European Union because in this moment European Union is giving money so this is not the right moment but uh, um, against immigrants of course and against uh, who is giving money not only to Italians for sure yes uh, as you say Many, a big part of the left, uh, great part of the unions and the organizations think that uh, there is the need to support the government to avoid uh, a government led by the right parties. No. And this is a big problem because the, the social situation is, uh, as Simone said, without... Uh, real struggles, but the, the, there is, a, in my opinion, a great dynamic in the society. It's a situation that is changing in many contexts. It's not uh, like in the 2008 in when uh, they, the government tell the story, the tale that uh, Uh, the poor people uh, take profit of the benefit uh, from the social measures of the previous decades. Uh, now they cut everything in the last 15 years and uh, the, the health emergence that uh, we lived in Italy in last months is an effect also of it because in the last 10 years we lost a lot of facilities in the healthcare system. So, and people know it, it's not uh, something that uh, people don't know. They know that uh, now it's more expensive to have uh, a normal uh, health exam or uh, something else. So, and the, uh, for example, for my experience in my region, after May, when they open the, when they start to open the, 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 to, to, To go to, to put aside all these restrictions, people start to go to the streets for 
many reasons. There were demonstrations of uh, immigrants, workers for the permission to to stay here. Women, yes, for 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 all the also for all the uh, situation that also the emergency created. The protests for uh, the, the the school that was very problematic, but. Uh, rise on important questions and then also for uh, the housing in, in between May and June there were many demonstrations many activities but they Chad, this dynamic situation never succeed to become something bigger no like uh, many little uh, protests with many people more than before the, the emergency, but uh, without a clear movement uh, against the government because the opposition try to only raise some demand and not to protest against the government. So this is a, a problem for me that is uh, mm. we will face also in the next uh, months. Even the lack of relationship between parties and population in Italy hasn't bring uh, a new activism, hasn't bring to new forms of uh, self-organization. And it means that uh, in the last years, and even more with COVID, um, a lot of persons hasn't the view that in the future things can be better and has any trust in the future and it is bringing persons to a non-activism at all to a sort of uh, situation of calm and fati uh, yeah, fatalism okay and this is something that is changing in Italy before uh, I think that uh, activism from below was very strong, the networks were very strong and nowadays every day is uh, more difficult to act to be active in such uh, situations. For example in my city, it is a small city, uh, we used for the first of May to do a sort of market. We used to have a demonstration and then to be all together in the square. And every year the number of uh, political situations, uh, self-organized organization, activists uh, or uh, even little leftist shop are less. This is a process that uh, is going on year by year. And COVID were not able to change it, for sure. And it is uh, a pity.
Tight Line is a weekly 30-minute radio program focusing on issues in the prison system. You'll hear news along with stories from prisoners and former prisoners as well as their loved ones. You'll learn what prison is, how it functions, and how it impacts all of us. Behind the prison walls, a message is called a kite. Whispered words, a note passed hand to hand, a request submitted to the guards for medical care. Illicit or not, sending a kite means trusting that other people will bear it farther along until it reaches its destination. Here on KiteLine, we hope to share these words across the prison walls. You can hear us on the Channel Zero Network and find out more at kitelineradio.noblogs.org. I've heard position from certain people, from different camps, from liberals, from the right, from the status left, that the virus showed the ultimate necessity of a centralized government of the state institutions. I think for me, it's also interesting the experience people had in different states, whether that was true or whether actually the state showed its inconsistency in the struggle with the virus. So what's the role if it makes sense to have a state? And if you already had it, you know, like a little bit of a thinking about that, what could be an anarchist answer to such a problem, like a decentralized answer to such a problem? Obviously, uh, I can stand with the sentence by the liberals, by the state left and so on that you said, because I think uh, in Italy, but I think also in the other countries, the centralized state show this situation showed another time and I think we didn't need this new show of this that the centralized state is really inefficient also in these uh, situations because as we told before now the main concern was to maintain the profits of the ones that support the ruling class. So the businessmen, of the owners of the factories, of all these people that uh, had the authorization to make everything, no? to change their production uh, or to continue to do their business in this context when normal people were not able also to go on the street to breathe a little. Uh, and this is uh, clear that that these decisions no, uh, that didn't o- o- only push forward the infection. No? The, and also the organization of the emergency, uh, the organization of the, of the healthcare system, but also all the public administration was not prepared to face this risk that is, yes, for sure, uh, not expected this, this way, but was not uh, a surprise for uh, anyone. It was a kind of epidemic or uh, more or less usual in the history and historical role of the state, I think should, uh, should think about. Anyway, for, for on the other hand, it's not so easy and uh, the same the same way to uh, say which is our solution for these kind of problems. For sure, is important. In Europe, this was a situation that uh, we have never faced at all. Okay. Mm. And even the health uh, care system was not prepared for it. But I don't know if it is a matter of state or not. Okay, they were not organized at all. This is for sure. But I don't know if in an anarchist uh, organization they will be organized for it. I don't know. And who knows? But I know, for example, that during COVID what happened 
was that uh, China entered in the Italian market with uh, a lot of uh, helps and they even buy a lot of things and uh, what changed was a sort of balance between the presence of China in Italy and uh, uh, the presence of, for example, United States in Italy. And during the Covid uh, and until now, Italian government decided to put more money in armies and uh, in the industrial armies uh, grow a lot in Italy. So it seems that there was a sort of war uh, from an economical point of view and at the same time uh, an organization to de demonstrate that you are able to face a situation of conflict in an international level. According to me it means that uh, what is going on is that uh, even in this so difficult situation states were trying to build new balance between them and build new areas of uh, um, presence and you are looking it even now in Brazil you are looking it in Argentina, in all the South America, but even in Africa, at least uh, an anarchist organization, a uh, social organization, wouldn't uh, build new form of war in uh, a foreign, let's say, situation or an international situation at all, would have built a network of solidarity. From below, what is going on here in Italy is that uh, even from below, science in, is put uh, in discussion in general. So negationism, I don't know if it is in English, uh, it seems that from below this is in a new form of struggle. Even if at least now anarchists are not negationists, but uh, this is quite common in Italy. So it means that uh, I think that the, the consciousness of people has to be built uh, or at least uh, has to be rediscussed, uh, at least. And form of of self-organizing in Italy not always had an anarchist uh, view. This is even the right organization tried to be present in uh, the streets uh, and uh, in uh, services and in uh, helping people. In some cities more than in others. I think that uh, as anarchists, at least uh, we would have organized the health system in a different way, not linked with uh, political clientelism, because in Italy this is very, very present. And at the same time, uh, they are trying to put together, in creating big, big, big structures, uh, the health services. I don't know if this is working. For sure it is uh, cheaper for their point of view, but really this is a, a issue that it is not questioning or debating, uh, for example, in our federation, because it is quite hard uh, even to have a technical answer to, to it. There are different points of view, of course, on it. There are some cameras that are open to the market. Let's say we have to guarantee uh, the support uh, for uh, the service, and other 
saying, you know, we as community have to organize the service itself. Okay, this is a different issue with different answers. Yeah, as you say, for example, for the responsibility of the of the government of the state of what happened, you know. One of the points is that uh, Italy has three, I don't know, maybe it's aircraft ship, portare, uh, the ship the, of the Navy mm-hmm. with the planes. I think it's aircraft ship or something like this. Has three of these ships that are really expensive that for a country as Italy are really too much. And the last one was built last year and uh, they spent more than 1 billion euros for it. That are like uh, 15,000 uh, intensive care places in the hospitals. If you make a... So, w- w- which is the priority in the, for the state, for the government, in the society? The, it's the same thing that you say. is. Uh, but at the same time, the issue of responsibility that uh, was the issue that uh, we as uh, anarchists, but me uh, as anarchists, I, I want to put on, is uh, I wasn't present in the street during the period for responsibility in order not to have in contact with others. But okay, this is an issue that we can discuss. But the issue of responsibility should have stopped the production for yes. everybody. While government decided that the economical issue was the main issue to... This is, uh, I think, the, the main difference. Then we can talk about how to organize in a federative yeah, way if it changed something in the production, in the organization of services. But, okay, this is, let's say, an open discussion that probably will lead not to, but at least uh, in some point, uh, for example, this office responsibility, we have to be really clear. The main issue was the production, not the health of Yeah, this is, this is what I, I wanted to say, that for the anarchist perspective, there are Mm, different things that uh, you can do. You can look at the... Yes, there are different opinions obviously about it, but you can look at uh, the experiences of self-government, of self... of geographies where there are experiences of self-government, like Rojab or other uh, places where there are this kind of experimentation that have many contradictions, but at the same time, it's interesting uh, to look, uh, to uh, see how they manage the emergency, for example. Comparison. That, yes, there are, are different situations, in many cases uh, uh, connected to war or conflict uh, situations, so it's not a real comparison, but more to have a more wide scenario and not only on the Western democracies, for example. And and this is uh, one uh, thing that we can do only for uh, to have also a theoretical e- exercise on, on, this, uh, on this. Then uh, there is another point, uh, inside this uh, society or in the process to change it, what do you do? And first to support or to the, the workers uh, that are really uh, involved in this process, from the healthcare system to uh, other sectors. Uh, not only because they are in the, um, they say it, uh, too much times, uh, they are in the first line, the COVID, but also because uh, daily, also before the COVID, they work in really bad conditions and they are the first ones. They are organized and have an awareness uh, to, to, they are the first one that can say what 
are the demands no, to pose uh, for uh, to have a better uh, also organization of the service and not uh, for sure the businessman and or the managers and and also the the population that uh, the people that is important also that to organize on the in the on the territories in the neighborhoods in the cities uh, trying to organize uh, to create uh, self organized groups to organize also the needs for of, of the people and put in connection with these forms of organization of the workers for example yes it's not something that happened <laughs> but it's something that uh, we we have to build some tool uh, and uh, I have this one in mind I don't know for for uh, future uh, society I don't know it uh, <laughs> it's a uh, the point yes you can say on a merely ideological point that uh, an anarchist a free society will not uh, follow the profit uh, or uh, other uh, goals but uh, yes before it's better to build it and to think about uh, all this <laughs> but even possibility. I think that Covid show us that, that we don't have so much needs and it is another issue after uh, two months that we were closed in our houses or we have to bring food to cameras uh, or to other persons that were not able to, to reach it. I think that uh, a lot of people feel that uh, life that they were, they were living before were full of things that probably were not so necessary. A lot of people at the end of the COVID the lockdown research it and try to re-bring time lost during COVID but a lot of other persons were discussing it. No, I like this with um um, philosophical approach what you said at the end this kind of that people actually figure out that they don't have so much needs because I mean it's really true like most of the needs we have or people think they have are created through market through capitalism through whatever industry is there to kind of please I think the only thing what really was is missing is this cultural aspect I think this kind of, I think for a lot of people that you can't sing together anymore and stuff like that. I think this is for a lot of people a bigger thing because it's also some kind of social thing, mm. doing music together, listening to music together, mm. things like that. Yeah, but at the same time, a lot of persons lost time, for, for example, in health system because they were afraid of COVID. Mm. And then, okay, it's true, the need changed, the priority changed, but the normal priority is not to, custom, to, to, to consume. But at the same time, uh, okay, COVID period was not figure out period that I would like to use as point of reference for my life, for sure. <laughs> no, no, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, totally. Yeah. And that was it for today. Thanks for listening. You can find the archive of our radio shows on the website of the Anarchist Network Dresden. Elephant in the Room is a proud member of Channel Zero Network, an English-based anarchist radio podcast network run by radical media makers from around the world. Is it a, a virtual radio or a it's a real radio? It's real a radio, free radio initiative. Yeah. In Germany, a lot of 
there is a law that you have to have a kind of a how do you say that public not public um, people's radio something like that so and also TV sh shows so eventually there's in Saxony there's in every big city um, you have a free radio which is kind of it's self organized but also the the frequency is actually paid by the state but yeah we can just talk whatever we want uh, for now no consequences and uh, yeah so it's kind of like it was a long struggle since the 90s when it started and with the pirate radios, with the pirate radios and then people kind of yeah kind of developed it in the way that the state is paying the at the frequency and people are talking what they want to talk about so that's got pretty good cool. in the state and is it working or not what do you mean with is it working uh, people used to listen to the, this kind of radio or uh, prefers a commercial radio or uh, I mean it's like no it's not 24 hours so it's mm -hmm. like for example the one in Dresden is on the even like on the, it's sharing the radio with some music commercial music um, show radio show and it's from 6 till 6 p.m. to 11 and on the weekends from 12 to 12, to 12 yeah. and how to manage it and it's like people who would like to make radio shows are coming to make radio shows and there's like like you have this kind of there's this as an association behind but this is more kind of formal way because everything is organized in associ associations in Germany and but it's kind of a, like there's a meeting where people discuss things and decide who's going to be to have a radio show and on top of that in Dresden we have two media pedagogic um, people who were doing radio shows with kids and they got paid and there's one person who get paid for kind of coordination coordination exactly so they are writing the i don't know whatever things yeah. girl projects things which should be done and the rest is like a general done by the people who are Joining the radio. And is, is there a, a. Okay, I am making the fun. interview. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can send you the, the interview later. <laughs> this part. Is, is there a kind of uh, goal or a common view of the radio? For example, we don't have it. Mm. Uh, in Italy, some radios were able to maintain the frequency, mm -hmm. but struggling uh, uh, because the commercial radio <laughs> buy everything mm. and at the same time it's expensive to maintain a, a, an open radio so for example uh, a radio blackout in Turin where I, even cameras have uh, a, a radio uh, program mm -hmm. Uh, but they have a common view and they are struggling uh, and if you are, are a democrat you, you are not going to participate let's say mm. Mm, it is quite strong as a, 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 as a program then they are not only anarchists but Mm -hmm. Let's say the view is more or less uh, common. Right. Then there are at least Radio Popolare, four or five other Radio radios. Ruta, Radio da Rossa. And each uh, radio has uh, a, a reference, political reference, let's mm -hmm. say. Some radio, some of these popular radio are more open, some others are closed. And some are locals, more or less all these radios are locals. Ah. Sì. And Forse alcune poi hanno, non so, Radio Andrade Tutto e Radio Blackout, 
dei podcast. Sì, fanno rif- sì, no, 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 come riferimento. Se te la ah, ok. Then they try to open the debate in not a local view with the issues that are even international mm-hmm. but at, at the end uh, you can hear them uh, by using the radio only in a local situation or by podcast uh, in internet yeah but it's the same oh okay yeah well, yeah it's the same you just get local um frequencies for sure and who wants to participate can participate or there's a sort of no there's, test. there's yeah there's kind of a meeting where actually people are kind of they come and say hey we would like to do this or that okay. so and then usually the regulation is first of all that you should make a, like you you make one show and people okay. can listen to it and can see okay. how you're doing what you're doing what you're talking about or which music you're playing or whatever and also there is some kind of i mean sure it's a kind of a free radio and it's not professional but anyway people actually would like that everybody who's joining the radio is doing a technical workshop okay. so that you know how to use the radio and that it's kind of also in the way that people can listen to it right okay so it should something be something acceptable yeah and then i think it's i mean there are certain kind of general rules it should be uh, anti racist so no sexist context mm. and like this kind of things okay but um ciao ciao so there's no uh, i think it's more this kind of don'ts like no racism no sexism no homophobic things it, it should be and it should be kind of um <laughs> It should be. It does not have to be. <laughs> it does not have to be local topics, but it's also welcomed because it's a local radio, so it makes sense. For example, also to talk about local cultural or artist things, independent stuff, whatever goes on. And um, yeah, I think there. Are a, bunch of anarchists organized in it also like from almost the beginning but also really different people okay you can make politics even with this radio show politics yeah oh we're doing only politics okay actually. but you can also have a music show there are a lot of people who really like doing music and themselves for yeah. example if two youngs from Sibiu want to participate i don't know. I think it usually doesn't mean <laughs> there's no party politics in ah. the radio as soon as I'm as long as I'm aware of. I don't know. It never popped up somehow. And I think I mean if you are from some major political party, you yeah, don't you go, to go to this to fucked up radio. radio. Yeah. Why yeah. don't? Because you can go and do politics on the commercial radios. No, maybe not actually. Yeah, but probably you have to, That's where you push, you to open your target. Why not? I think actually, I think it never happened so far. I'm not <laughs> sure. I will ask actually. But um, usually there are people coming who are somehow rather really want to do political shows or they want to talk about culture things huh. or they are doing music by themselves, DJ, whatever. So the yeah. Fresco. Yeah. Different things. Okay. Mm. And it works pretty well, I think. It works pretty well, but of course also it needs... <laughs> it needs, um, like every self-organized project, it needs more people who are active. It's hard to maintain... Yeah, they maintain the technical parts. Right now it's the biggest issue, actually. Mm. And even to give continuity to such a thing that can't stop. Yeah, no. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I mean, now you have a responsibility, you know? At the beginning, they started with four hours a week. So it was a huge fight which show will be broadcast. (laughs) And now it's like actually there's empty spaces where people could actually make radio. No, I wanted to say that um, there is also this free radio network that exists where people are uploading their shows. So you do some kind of a show for one hour, you are uploaded there. And even if there are troubles, for example, to get your show together, 
there is always a place where you can go and find the content that you can play um, on your radio and like quality of content, not just some random show, but rather like, you know, okay, this is politics, this is culture, this is something that you can relate to. And it is working. Yeah. It is working. It is working yeah. pretty well. It is like in west part of Germany. I mean, this east part, so it's just existing since maximum thirty years, so most less. And in west, you have radios for really long. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Which are integrated somehow in in local leftist scenes quite well. Mm. I think. Right. It is interesting. Mm. Yeah. But I think it's really connected with this kind of the possibility for the people to uh, um, mm. make radio, also TV shows. You have really a lot of really local local TV shows, TV channel in Dresden, where they only talk about Dresden issues. I don't know. 